Ready? They're off for the Bet365 uh, Wood Ditton, perhaps by design syllabus, Grey Jack, its slowest to get away from the stalls. New business on the near side in the blue and yellow began brightly and pushes the early pace along with tribute in the high clear silks of light blue racing a close second. Orange and blue in the orange and blue tracks, the leading pair at the end of a furlong and a half. And then passenger the shades of blue with the white cap, a half length away to Carthab in the Shadwell silks of blue and white. Uh, Penzance in a yellow and black jacket, the grey, uh, races with a couple behind. Syllabus in the grey silks is last but one. And Mighty Nebula, white and green, is held up by David Egan as they make progress steadily down towards the halfway point in the Wood Ditton. And at this stage, shunning the near side running rail. It's new business leading to tribute. Orange and blue on the near side passenger and far side car fab with a striped cap. The grey Penzance waiting in the wings followed by Syllabus and Mighty Nebula looking on from the tail of the field. They're moving down inside the final three furlongs and the pace beginning to lift. New business stretching on in front. Tribute still at his tail. Orange and blue second from the right ridden along. Further right Penzance is asked for his effort as they pass the bushes. Pass Passenger white cap has been angled out, beginning to close. Carthab on the far side, just running green as they go down into the dip, but beginning to find his stride. New business in the centre, challenged on the near side by Passenger, who looks to be coming home the stronger here under the Moor Drive. Carthab is giving chase on the far side. New business, nothing more to offer. And Passenger is stretching away close home for an impressive debut success in the Wood Ditton. Carthab is second, new business third, then syllabus and orange and blue. So Michael South has just seen Passenger win on his debut in the Wood Ditton, ridden by Ryan Moore. Michael, congratulations. Tell me about this horse going into the race. How far forward do you think he was mentally, I think, more than anything? Yeah, he's very straightforward. And, um, he, you know, he'd done plenty of work and the, 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 they've been running well. Um, you don't know what your opposition is, but we like him. We like him and uh, it, was a, it was a brimful of promise. Mm. So we'll take him back and freshen him up and do some work with him and then make a decision as to where we go next. He was a little bit green in the preliminaries, wasn't he? But you could see him getting noisy. better all the time. Yeah, he, he was fine once Ryan got on him and he was down, down at the gate. Yeah, no problems. What trip do you think he'll want? I think we'll go on the quarter next time. Mm. And was that based on what you saw or something that Ryan said? Yeah, well, what, what we've all, always felt, we thought... The Wood Ditton was a good starting point, but really a, a, he looked as though he would be better in a mile and a quarter. Um, yeah, and Ryan said, yeah, let's go, go 10 next time. And you run the Philippa Pence later. What are you expecting from her? Um, she's all right. She could just do with a, a, a little bit of warmth for a week or two and she'd really blossom. But she's done enough work to run well. You've seen that with the Phillies all this week, I think, aren't you? Loads of them are hanging on to their winter coats. So I can't let you go, I'm afraid, right. until I ask you about your two Group 1 winners because, because the public would like to know. First of all, how is the, how is the Derby winner, Desert Crab? Yeah, he's, just, he, he's done all his foundation work and he's just gone into strong work yesterday. And does that mean that you're on target for the Brigadier Gerard? Uh, I think we are, yes. Yes. Okay, good. And he's well over the, the problem. At the time, you, you were suggesting that the problem wasn't huge. It was just too big of an interruption. Would that be a fair summary? It's going well now. You know, the athletes back in strong work. That's great. And how about Bay Bridge, your group one yeah, winner? Yeah, he's in good shape. Uh, he'll either go to Sandown or to France. So the Gordon Richard or? Uh, the Gane. The Gane. Right, OK. Right. So... So you could go quietly or you could go big straight up. We'll see. <laughs> so does that depend on how well he's going, essentially? I'll ring and ask you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Sir Michael. Watch live racing now on racingtv.com.